this presentation, I will try to discuss cystic lesion including decryops, dermoid cysts, sinus mucosal, and encephalocele. Starting with decryops. Decryops is a frequently bilateral cyst of lacrimal gland that is thought to develop from a dilated uh, obstructed duct. A round cystic lesion protrudes uh, into the superior fornix from the palpebral lobe of the gland and may present with inflammation. The possibility of a malignant tumor should always be considered. Treatment involves excision or vasopilization with the histopathological analysis. Uh, you can observe it here. Uh, uh, this is one of the uh, pictures. Second is the dermoid cyst. I will start with the uh, introduction. An orbital dermoid cyst is a chorostoma, which is a mass of histological normal tissue in an ab abnormal location derived from displacement of ectoderm into the subcutaneous location along the abdominal lines of closure. Now, dermoids are lined by char keratinized stratified squamous epithelium like skin and have a fibrous wall and contain dermal appendages such as sweat glands, sebaceous glands and hair follicles. Epidermoid cysts do not contain adenexal structures. Dermoids may be superficial or deep located anteriorly or they might be located posteriorly to the orbital septum. Uh, Epibulbar dermoids uh, and bone lipomas are related lesions. Now, Diagnosis consists of symptoms and signs. Dermoid cysts are one of the most frequently encountered orbital tumors in children. Uh, symptoms are in superficial orbital uh, dermoid cysts. Uh, uh, they are presented in infancy with the painless nodule most commonly located in the supratemporal and occasionally in the sup supranasal part of the orbit. A deep dermoid cyst presents in the adolescence or adult life with a gradually increase in protruding eye or uh, acutely with an inflamed orbit due to rupture. Signs and investigation in cases of superficial uh, dermoid cyst, a firm, round, smooth, non tender, 1 to 2 cm in diameter, mobile under the skin but usually tethered to the adjacent periosteum. The posterior margins are easily palpable. Uh, denoting a lack of deeper origin or extension, uh, while uh, deep uh, uh, lesions uh, cause proptosis, dy dystopia, or a mass uh, lesion with indistinct posterior margins. Now, here in the pictures, this is the superficial lesion in the child, as you can see. While here you can see a deep lesion has caused uh, a dystopia in the uh, I. Uh, on the CT scan, you can see there is a superficial well circumscribed lesion here, uh, while this deep lesion here in the CT scan, you can see it is also well circumscribed, uh, but you can see that uh, it has done some kind of uh, bone remodeling as well, which is not present in the other eye. Uh, Investigations uh, include in cases of superficial uh, uh, imaging, uh, they show a well circumscribed heterogeneous cystic lesion. As I've already explained, in cases of deep imaging, the gain shows a well circumscribed lesion. Uh, some deep dermoids associated with bony defects may extend into the intra, infratemporal fossa or intracranially. Now, Treatment is small lesions may be observed bearing in mind the possibility of rupture, particularly from the trauma. The inflammation can be addressed with oral steroids. Superficial dermoid um, treatment is by excision in total. Taking care not to rupture the cyst since the leakage of uh, keratin into the surrounding tissues uh, typically results in severe granulomatous infection. As we can see here, the dermoid is... Uh, recognized and the whole thing is removed and without rupturing it. Uh, deep dermoid excision uh, in total is advised because deep dermoids enlarge and may leak into the adjacent tissues uh, into an inducing inflammation often followed by fibrosis. If incompletely excised dermoid may recur with persistent low-grade inflammation. Now, 
sinus mucosal uh, a mucosal develops when the drainage of the normal paranasal sinuses or secretion is obstructed due to infection allergy trauma tumor or a congenital narrowing um a slowly expanding cystic accumulation of mucoid mucoid secretions and epithelial debris develops and gradually erodes the bony walls of the sinus causing symptoms by encroachment upon the surrounding tissues orbital invasion occurs usually from the frontal or ethmoidal mucosal uh, but rarely from those arising in the maxillary sinus presentation in the is in the adult life with proptosis or dystopia as you can see in the picture uh, the left side uh clearly has uh dystopia here and uh diplopia or epiphora pain is uncommon unless secondary infection develops uh which is mucopiocele ct scan shows a soft tissue mass with thinning or erosion of the bony walls of sinuses and uh treatment involves complete excision now here you can see uh this mucosal coming from the ethmoidal sinuses or sinus is present here and uh, it is involving the orbit and causing indentation uh, of the medial rectus next encephalocele now an encephalocele seal is formed by herniation of the intracranial contents through a congenital defect to the base of the skull and can be located at the front or back of the head a meningo seal contains only dura while a uh, meningo encephalocele also contains the brain tissue presentation is usually during the infancy anterior orbital encephalocele involves the supramedial part of the orbit and displaces the globe forwards uh and the lateral uh, forwards and laterally whereas posterior orbital encephalocele frequently associated with neurofibromatosis type 1 displace the globe forwards and downwards uh as you can see here in the first picture uh you can see that anterior supramedial encephalocele causing proptosis and uh down and out dystopia while uh, in the second picture you can see posterior encephalocele causing proptosis and inferior uh dystopia uh so uh usually the posterior orbital encephalocele is associated with neurofibromatosis type 1 uh the displacement increases on straining or crying or may be reduced by manual pressure pulsating proptosis may occur due to communication with the subarachnoid space but because the communication is not vascular there is neither a thrill or a bruise ct scan shows bony defect responsible for the herniation the differential diagnosis of anterior encephalocele includes um that uh, of the uh, medial canthal swelling such as dermoid cyst amniotocele um and of posterior encephalocele includes orbital lesion that uh, present during the early life such as capillary hemangioma juvenile xanthogranuloma teratoma and microphthalmos with cyst now here in the ct scan which is the coronal section of the posterior encephalocele is showing a large uh uh, uh bony defect uh here you can see the whole orbit is not uh properly manufactured is not properly formed uh due to uh encephalocele and there is the bony defect so this is it with the lecture if you like the lecture please click on the like button and uh subscribe to the channel thank you all